Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 2 on ABAP. In this video, I am going to uh, explain about a basic idea about ABAP, how to write a program in ABAP, what are the basic needs is required to begin uh, as an ABAP. -er. Okay, so last video I explained about the introduction um, for a ERP and what is SAP who are all the people working in SAP, what are their roles and responsibilities and uh, from this video probably we will jump onto the programming side and um, hope this will be very easy for you. So let's begin uh, with the very basic information before getting into the system. Um, let me list out few basic things before starting any program. So here before write about few things to be uh, clarified. One is, uh, it's simple English to make program statements because ABAB is a fourth generation language. So they call it as it's a business language or it's a common human language. So, so statements are very simple to write a program like select, loop, read it and do and do if condition case similar to other languages but it's more, more of an English, in the form of English. And uh, every statement in the program must end with a period. So period is nothing but dot. Because in high level language, if you take C, um, some looping and condition statement doesn't end with any period. There is no end of statement. But in above, every statement should be end with a period. And the space between above keywords or variables or mandatory. This is a little weird. Suppose if you work with some other uh, language like C, Java, here space is very important. For example, if you're going to write a statement like uh, A is equal to B plus C, so you have to write A space equals space B space plus space C dot. Okay, there is no space between dot and the last variable. But other than that, everywhere you need at least a space. If not, you will get a syntax error. More than one space is well and good, but minimum one space is required between the keywords and variables. And all literal or enclosed within single quotes. So any uh, hard coded statement, if you want to pass to a variable or you have to mention in a right statement, that needs to be enclosed within single quotes. And above keyword is not case sensitive. So you can go with small or upper. And there are three steps for every program. Once your program is complete, you have to do save it, check it, and act order. This is not only for the program. Any object if you create in inside your uh, SAP product that needs to be saved, checked, and act order. Okay. So uh, save, just save your changes. Check is nothing but to check the syntax uh, error if there is any syntax error in your program or in your screen, in your menus, whatever it is, whatever you create. That is for check. Activate, I'll, I will tell you a little um, later, maybe with an example. So it's easy to understand. And transaction code, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, if you open any window inside the SAP, you need a transaction code to open it. So first transaction which we are going to see is SC38. It's not case sensitive. You can go with SMAN as well. SC38 is the uh, transaction code to open the ABAP editor. Every window has its own name, ABAP editor, sales order creation, purchase order creation, uh, table creation, uh, screen design, form painter. So every window has its own name. So SC38 is going to open an ABAP editor. ABAP editor is a window to write a program Okay, in SAP. So first, um, data types. If you want to write a program, so any any language, anywhere if you want to write a program, so what is a program? Program is nothing but a set of uh, sequence of statements. Okay, sequence of statements are available in the program. Normally what the program does, mostly it do the data manipulation. It carries the data from one place to another place or it manipulates some information about some calculations and finally it will display or finally it will update to the table, it, it just pass the same data to some other non-SAP system. Okay, so mostly program is going to do some data manipulation. So to carry a data, we need a medium. So medium can be anything, depends on your uh, final result or depends on your uh, value. For example, if you're going to hold only one value, a variable is enough. I want to hold a record, one record, set of fields, right? Like name, address, phone number. So these are different fields, but it has, it combined is a one record. So for that, I need a work area. Suppose I want to carry multiple records. So I want to carry one sales order and uh, 
ஃபிஃப்டீன் லைன் ஐட்டம் ஸோ ஐ வாண்ட் டு கேரி செவன்டீன் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் அட் அ டைம் ஒரு சிக்ஸ்டீன் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் அட் அ டைம் ஐ நீட் அ இன்டர்னல் டேபிள் ஸோ டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த வேல்யூ வி நீட் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மீடியம் ஸோ த மீடியம்ஸ் ஆர் டு பி டிக்ளர்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஓகே ஐ வில் டேக் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் வேரியபிள் ஸோ ஐ ஒம் கோயிண்ட் ஹோல்ட் அ வேல்யூ ஜஸ்ட் அ நேம் ஆஃப் அன் எம்ப்ளாயி ஸோ ஐ நீட் ஒன் வேரியபிள் ஸோ தட் வேரியபிள் நீட்ஸ் டு பி டிக்ளர்ட் அலாங் வித் த டெக்னிக்கல் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் டெக்னிக்கல் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் வாட் டைப் ஆஃப் வேல்யூ இஸ் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டோர் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் அ மேக்ஸிமம் லென்த் ஆஃப் த பர்டிகுலர் uh value it if the value has a decimal places or not so these are is nothing but technical aspects of a uh, field so we need a data type for it whether it's a character or date time integer numeric it needs a float it has a decimal places so that is nothing but a data types so every language uh, has its own uh, data types or more categories of data types the same way abab also has Uh, elementary types reference types complex data types so here i am going to do in a reverse way first i will explain the um, types of uh, not types i am explain the data types first okay so then we are going to map okay this is coming under elementary so this set of uh, declarations coming under reference type and this is coming under complex data types okay that will be very easy to understand so first what i am going to do is i am going to explain what are the data types or available in ml very basic simple data types in abab data types are uh, defined with single character okay like c n d t x and a few more like string as well okay and the same way we have some more like i f and p so in the left hand side data types uh, let me take my pointer yeah the left hand side data types is nothing but it is going to uh, denotes uh, defines a character type of values so this is character and numeric is also is going to store only numbers but it's for a bigger values like phone numbers okay so uh, mainly i can say is not going to do any calculation with the numbers in that kind of value if you want to store in a variable go with the numeric one and date time hexadecimals and bytes and string collection of characters and this three is specially made for numbers if you want to do any calculations so go with the integer an integer can hold a value without any decimal places whole numbers float float can um, also accept numbers along with the decimal places packed also same property is same packed also a float number it accept number with the decimal places the difference between f and p is in packed data type you have a option to specify how many decimals you want but in f you are not able to do it so packed you are able i want two decimal places you want three decimal places based on my requirement so just go with the packed if you want to accurate values just approximate value if you want go with the float okay so we'll see everything with one simple example and uh, declarative keywords the next one is declarative keywords so if you want to declare anything so i want a variable what you have to do is first you have to declare it normally if you take a program any program in any language there are uh, i can say there are some blocks okay uh, meaning there are some specific steps to be done so step 1 step 2 step 3 the same way if you want to write a program first you got to declare it that is step 1 and step 2 you have to define it define it nothing but you have to assign a value take a simple example of addition of two numbers i'm going to add two numbers so i need three variables so two numbers and the result to be hold in a variable so i need three variables like a b and c so here um first step is declare a b and c with a data type maybe we can go with the integer and step 2 i have to define it i need to define a value for b and c that is nothing but define assign a value to the variable and step 3 i want to process it process is nothing but addition of two numbers so a uh, a is equal to b plus c process is done and fourth step i want to display the output of my um, variable or the value the final result so that is nothing but display the value so there are basic four steps declare define process and output okay so for the first step one i need to declare it for a declare we have some keywords that is called declarative keywords so with the help of declarative keywords we can make statements okay so here everything is a statement in abab everything is look like a statement so first i'm going to use okay before that 
these are the keywords which is available in uh, ABAP for declare. To declare any variable, every keyword has its own properties. Like if you say uh, data A type I, parameters A type I, tables A, sorry not tables A, uh, types, constants A type I. So it has a uh, it has its own properties okay the first property is if you want to declare anything in the, in your program and the value is also going to be assigned in the program itself then go with data okay so data is nothing but i'm going to declare a variable in my program and uh, who is going to assign a value in a program itself i'm going to assign a value it may be a hard coded value or i can take it from the database table and put it so in a program itself i'm going to manage the value of the variable so go with data so first i'm going to explain data then uh, one by one will explain so you come to know what is the difference between each keywords so uh, this is called declarative statement so this is a declarative keyword and this is a declarative statement data and types or keywords so it's not case sensitive just for your reference i just make all the keywords in capital letters and data and type or keywords above keywords a is a variable or data object uh, you are inside a ABAP so you should know the technical terms of ABAP so normally variable is a generic term but technically we call it as data object and I is a data type so this is one declarative statement so our scenario is addition of two numbers so I need two more declarative statements b type i c type i so here i can't go with a comma b comma c type i that is not possible in above you have to write each statement for each variable so you have to use data b type i and data c type i because every keyword every above keyword can hold only one statement at a time okay so if you want to add one more statement comma b type i then you have to use a chain operator otherwise you'll get a syntax error like this so if you want to have single keyword, it's going to be hold more than one statement, then use a chain operator and put a colon and a type i comma b type i comma c type i. Okay, and the each statement is separated by comma. So the next one is uh, okay. This is this one. This is all declarations. Okay, and definition I will tell you a little later. And this is a process my process is a is equal to b plus c there is a space everywhere there is a space and with the dot you don't want to use any space okay every every line is end with a period so this one declarative statement also end with a period process also end with a period and this is another keyword called write write is nothing but display the uh, value of a variable or the hard-coded statement so here it display what is the value of this variable currently if you run this program it gives zero because i didn't assign a value for b and c definition is missing and this is another way of writing um, a statement and the value of a variable is with colon right colon within single quotes value of a it's just a statement and comma separated by comma a value of this variable will be displayed in the output screen okay and the definition is like this I have two options to define a value either in the declarative statement itself with the help of the keyword called value okay value 10 another option is assignment operator with the help of assignment operator you can pass a value to the variable either way you can do it it's not a compulsory you have to go with value you have to go with assignment operator depends on the requirement depends on your the way of writing your code please proceed with either value or equal so it's clear um hope this is very easy for you and i will just uh, show you the same in the system as well okay so this is my system and um here my version of my systems everything is s4 hana so don't worry about it even if you have a ecc uh, system uh yeah uh, ac38 everything look wise uh, most same but in the outer look it could be a little different so that doesn't make uh, uh, much difference so don't worry about it so i'm going to use this sap logon pad mostly you know our effort so we are using everything as a client okay because it's a product it's just like just like that we can't access it it needs a server it needs to run the server it needs some supporting programs to be run everything to be run uh, mostly if you are working in a client or in your working in a company so you will get only the sap logon pad you might not get a chance to see how the servers are working behind 
maybe if you work in 4.6 five years or if you in install sap in your personal laptop so there might be uh, they have a server you have to switch on the server before if you start any uh, sap um, product okay so I, i'm saying so training um, they call it as yeah ecc training version so if you have it so you have to start the server then you have to work out with the logon pad otherwise directly just go here and double click the server is already on it is running in background so give the your sap user id password okay this is the first page of your sap so this look wise look quiz i'm saying about this one suppose if you in ecc or in a different version you might have a menu bar and everything so here it's not not available that's it and then that everything almost same um here this is called command field every window you have this command field and this is the call sap ec access every window has its own name right so this is the initial uh, screen of uh, sap so any uh, people maybe a functional technical or basis if you want to start they have to start from here as well they have to enter their own transaction code so here you can add your transaction code as favorites as well so now i'm going to enter the transaction code sc38 and press enter okay it's not it's it's not case sensitive so sc38 is just open a ABAP editor so we are going to write a program and one important uh, aspect is sap is a product it's already developed okay so whatever you're seeing it's a it's a screen designing it's already designed by sap they have a program they have three buttons they have some option buttons every option buttons every button has its own set of code is already available uh, behind the screens so if you take a product it has a standard program standard object as well so this is a standard program and standard screen so sap uh, differentiate about the standard and custom so what is a custom uh, maybe in the last video i explained any product is uh, designed based on some generic requirement not specific to one company okay or one business so in that case there might be a gap between the product and the business requirement so to to fulfill the gap we need some custom developments okay so custom developments nothing but uh, because of or based on the the specific requirement from the business we need to achieve in the same product so every time we're not going to ask sap to, to fulfill or uh, i want this i want that instead of that even uh, some sap technical people itself with the team they are able to develop some custom developments okay to fulfill the business requirement for that sap decided any custom development or any custom object it should start with z or y so then only there should be a differentiate so for tomorrow uh, if there is any version update comes they should come they they are should in the position to know which is standard which is custom so that's why all standard program starts with any alphabet but the custom program should start with z or y okay so except z or y everything is for sap and all the custom objects would start with z or y okay is it or y uh, it may be a program table smart forms or a script uh, anything anything like enhancements so everything should start with z or y okay and uh, only the first alphabet rest everything whatever you want based on your naming convention you can go ahead with that so here everything i go with z, uh, y j i my first program And click the create button so if it is already available it shows this already exists so it's a, a basic validation and here next pop-up window comes just properties of your program before get into the ABAB editor we have to give some information what is the title of your program um, okay, my program is see, addition of two numbers what type of program so you'll get a lot of types of program available first we are going to start with executable program means i'm going to execute my program i'm going to write a program and i'm going to execute it so the name of or type of the program is executable program rest all options rest all fields are optional okay you can ignore it for the time being 
So status, I just give a few information. Status is nothing but why you are creating a program, what kind of program you create. Mostly if you create anything for business requirement, custom business requirement, so go with customer production program. Okay. An authorization group, you can create an authorization group, uh, meaning uh, this particular uh, program is going to be executed only set of people. Not everyone is going to execute this report, okay, because this report is going to be for finance. So no one from other departments should execute this report. In that case, you can create an authorization uh, group and you can include all the users over there who are responsible. Then add that particular group over here. We'll see this little later. An application, it belongs to which application? So anything you can just add simply I go with the finance accounting depends on your uh, business need and ldb logical database name this is currently not available selection screen so everything just restore things please ignore it okay and don't disturb others as well like uh, standard above unicode fixed points so don't select editor log we'll see why okay just click save and again um because i don't want to dump everything in the first video itself here just ignore what values you have to enter over here just click local object i will explain what is package later okay just click local object so my abap editor is available now so you can start your program and this is all command line command line is nothing but uh, non-executable lines uh, like reference line inline command so you can add whatever you want like i can say addition of two numbers So if you want uh, who's the author, when it's created, why it's created, if you want, you can add it. Okay. So command line, your actual program starts here. So the execute, the compiler, I can say it is start execute from line number six. It just simply ignore one to five. So whatever you add, it never bother about it. So a report is the keyword. So here all the bad keywords are in blue color. And this is the name which you given in the, uh, which I given in the first window of ac38 and end with the period then after this you can start you can write whatever you want same line very next line or you can give some uh, gap as well so here data a type i so if you create any variable using data simply we can call data variable if you create a, um, a with parameter you can say parameter variable okay so every uh, keyword every declarative keyword has its own property so data keyword uh, has the maximum length of 30 data variable not keyword i'm sorry data variable can have maximum of 30 characters okay so you can give you can give um very reasonable names like material number sales order number purchase order number so that is actually easy for future reference as well as the next developer who is going to modify your program so always give a meaningful name for every variable okay so if want i can i can give like this uh, this is my number one okay and uh, this is the okay another one i had to say uh, comment line suppose i want to partially comment a line so if you want to full a comment line, it, it, the, it starts with asterisk. The first column start with asterisk. System recognize this is the comment line. It's an italic uh, character as well. Okay, it's easy to understand. And if you want to partially comment a line, so you can use like double quotes. Like after this, system should not execute this. This is for my reference. Okay. And next, sorry. Next is data. And we'll use chain operator. You can use in the same line, above line as well, but it's fine. Just for your reference. And here I can say answer type i. Okay. So if you try to add a value over here, uh, I can say number three, it gives an error immediately with red color. So means a system not able to recognize what is this because every above keyword capable of holding one statement not more than one statement so here it's in a more than one statement separated by comma so you have to introduce chain operator to avoid this error okay so this is done then i'm going to assign a value value 20 okay and number two is equal to 30. so definition is done and I'm going to write the code answer is equal to 
number one plus number two okay and finally i need to display the value of my answer answer okay and uh, one more line is i won't write answer right you can use the same line just for your fun doing that on uh, the answer is So if you want if you want you can write the number one value is this number two value is this and the answer is this so if you want you can do it okay so all the blue are above keywords and uh, these number these are variables not in the uh, blue color it's in black color and you can ask there is a literal yes this is a literal but still there is an exception for numbers if it is a number if you pass a literal as a number single code is not enough sorry not needed if you want you can add it it won't give any error and good so now i am ignoring a dot over here just i want to make some error and i want to save it so you have to save this and check it okay i'll show you once it is done so control comma okay i'll come to that so once it is done you have to save it control plus s check it plus F2 activate control plus F3 shortcuts function key F1 F2 sorry F2 F3 function keys okay this is normal control is a normal one so save it I saved it and I'm going to check it control F2 uh, here also you're able to see the icons check to the check Activated. So it shows very clearly expected after 30 line number 11. This is the type error. So you have type error warning information. So the program can able to run with warning and information but not with the error. If it is an error you have to correct it. So it's saying expected dot. Okay. Dot. This automatically the red color is gone. Again control F2 is done. Okay. Suppose if I must uh, come over here and try to give active sorry check. So he's saying unable to enter answer because it's maybe because it doesn't know what is the answer. Okay, after this, the separator separator is missing, so it gives I'm not able to understand the answer. Just give it's not a keyword as well. So again, comma check it. It's done. And act toward it. Here you can see your program is inactive mode. So if it is inactive, you can't go to the next next level. Okay. So just try to act toward it. I will explain what is activate, what is why it's required. Once you click activate or control F3, um, probably you won't get this window in if you are working in a, um, with your own username. Normally in client base, you have a different uh, unique user ID. So it displays all the inactive objects of that particular user. So here there's a training system. So I have uh, one user is used by many people. That's why it listed all the inactive objects. But normally in real time in your client, you won't get it. Sometimes if you get it, automatically it's selected which program you want to activate. So you don't want to worry about this particular window. Just click continue. So everything is fine. It's activated perfectly. Here it's say activate. So then I want to put uh, execute. So execute is saying, but I want to see the output of my program. So F8, not control F8, just F8. Here you have the option button, direct processing F8. So here I just added it. So I have to activate again. If every change you have to activate it, if you want to execute. Otherwise, if you're going to do all the changes, finally activate, then execute. Before execute, make sure your object is, your program is in active mode. Just click continue. I mean, sorry, execute. So it shows, this is the output screen. Okay. So here you can say the title of the program, addition of two numbers. And here it's all the same thing, addition of two numbers and one underline and right side corner uh, like here you have the page number only one probably will once you come to know above report will know more than one page as well and there are two statements displayed here first right statement displays only the value second right st st statement display with statement and value suppose i want to display this under the next line to so the new line so very simple you can say slash like slash n same as slash just slash is nothing but 
this line starts in the new line. This statement starts in the new line. So activate F8. So 50, answer is 50. So this is coming a right align because it's a number integer. So it uh, it has its own property. That's why it will display in the right line one. Okay. So this is very simple and go back if you want to do any modifications over here. Okay. So if this, this will be uh, useful and understand what is a BAB and at least how to get into the simple program data types and everything. Uh, probably I will give one example um for parameters quite, quite interesting so i will continue in the next video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the value of number one and number two from the user so next declarative keyword is parameters so what i'm going to do is let me comment this okay i don't want this one so let me comment it i want only answer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this data answer type by here it's a dot is missing okay now i don't want these entire two statements so i have to comment it you know the comment right so comment is if you start with asterisk yes it's commented instead of that shortcut is select the statements whatever you want to comment control comma okay control plus comma is nothing but it is going to command the lines line or lines if you want to remove it control dot okay so shortcut is control command control dot so now what i'm going to do is the same number one number two i'm going to declare using parameters keyword because i want to get the number one value for number one number two from the user at the runtime okay so i'm going to use the same uh, declarative statement there's no change okay number one type i number two type i Okay, rest all same. So what happens if you use parameter, it creates an input screen. So um, last, if I execute, you see the output screen, right? That is created by the keyword write. Write is the keyword to create the output screen. Without write, if you execute, you won't get anything. Okay, only in the same screen, you can see if you, ex if you click execute, you in the same screen because you need one, at least one write statement to generate an output screen. The same way, if there is a parameter, it creates an input screen for your in uh, variables, input variables. Okay, and here parameter variable length is eight character only, maximum. Okay, example if I add some more value over here, just F2, control F2, it shows parameter name here can be up to eight characters long. Okay, so not more than eight characters. So it's exactly eight over here, three, six, eight, yeah, control F2. That's it, execute, save, check, and activate it, same three process, and execute. This time you won't get output screen because you have a one keyword called parameter. It should create a input screen for you, okay? With the name, number one, number two, it, it there is an input box. So normally if you say type I, it creates an input box, depends on your, size if you say character uh, it will give one by default it have only one character right so it is a small box now is an integer so based on that it gives little lengthy one so i can say 12 and 23 and one more execution you have to do okay f8 or you have to use program execute okay uh, these are little uh, different in the versions some normally in a little older version you have all the buttons over here you have menu buttons so here everything is uh, i can say uh, simplified and displayed here so just execute or press once again f8 no it shows it shows so 42 answer is 42 so go back if you click go back it goes to your input screen not your program okay and here you can change change the values depends on it automatic calculates the values over here okay so f3 is a shortcut to go back Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. What is this? Always 75 comes. Okay. This is my mistake. Here I'm passing number two is hard coder value. Let me comment it. Control comma. So if 
right mm, 45 90 yeah 135 right so hope it's um, useful for you and uh, you will get more interesting fact in the following videos so please uh, follow and if you have any doubt please write to my uh, email i think i'll, I'll just show you the, my email id one second yeah uh, this is my channel just to share just go through and see the videos and uh, you have the email ji2 uh, share at gmail.com if you have any doubts please uh, drop an email to my id and if you see if you want to show some screenshot also it's well and good just put it in a word and send it to me i will uh, respond immediately at least one or two days but it depends on my workload excuse me i will respond to your email definitely okay thank you so much for your time see you in the next video